Hello, Ashaji. How are you? It's been a while since I saw you last. Nathulal, I came here last week. Remember? Here's what I need. Let me go get your stuff for you. Five hundred and sixty rupees, please. Cheetah, cheetah. Cheetah, cheetah. Nathulal ji, Nathulal ji, Nathulal ji. Huh? Who is it? Oh, JC. What do you want? Can I have two hundred and fifty grams of sugar, please? Didn't you and your mother just buy groceries yesterday? Yes, but we need more sugar. Okay, wait. Let me measure it out for you. Sure. Here, that will be ten rupees. Quantity, quantity. Is something bothering you, son? I think there is something fishy going on at Nathulal's shop. What made you think that? You remember when Nathulal's parrot Mitu shouted "cheater" the other day when we were in his shop? So I went there again to buy some sugar. You know what the parrot said this time? What did he say? He shouted, "Quantity, quantity!" Hmm. I think there may be something wrong with the quantity of things that Nathulal sells. Let's find out, shall we, JC? Okay. How will we find out whether Nathulal is cheating us or not, Mom? First, let's check if there is something wrong with the quantity of this sugar. That you bought yesterday. How would we do that? By weighing its mass, or what we commonly call weight. Mass. The mass of an object is a measure of how heavy or how light the object is. Objects can be termed light or heavy depending on their mass. For example, a lion is heavier than an ant, and an elephant is heavier than a lion. That's right, but it's not necessary that things bigger in size have to be heavier than ones that are small. What do you mean? Think about cotton and iron. A small iron block would weigh almost as much as a sack full of cotton. This is despite the fact that the block of iron would easily fit into your palm. And the sack of cotton would be half your size. Gosh, you're right, Mom. This means we shouldn't judge the weight of objects by their appearance, right? <laughs> Definitely, you must not. So, how can we find out which object is heavy and which one is light? We can find out by measuring the weight of the object. Like you measured my weight, remember? A couple of months ago. Exactly. In the same way, we can measure the weight of anything by using a weighing machine. Weight is measured in grams. Gram? What is that? Gram is a standard unit which we use to measure mass. Cool. So how many grams do I weigh, Mom? Your weight won't be measured in grams, JC. Why not? Because gram is used to measure small quantities. For larger values of mass, we use kilogram. Kilogram is a bigger unit of mass and is used to measure heavier things. Your current weight is 30 kilograms. Cool. And remember this: one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. One kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. Oh, so this means we can find out my weight in grams, Mom. <laughs> yes, you can, but it will be a very big number. Let's calculate your weight in grams, shall we, Jaycee? Okay. Okay. 
So like I just told you, one kilogram is equal to thousand grams. And I weigh thirty kilograms. Yes. So to find out your weight in grams, we will multiply your weight in kilograms with one thousand. That's thirty multiplied by one thousand. Exactly. So your weight is thirty thousand grams. Wow. That is a big number. If we measure heavy things in grams, the value of their weight would be a big digit number. So, to make it easier, we measure it in kilograms. In the same way, it is easier to measure the mass of something small, like this packet of sugar in grams. Oh, I get it now. So, because I'm much heavier than this bag of sugar, my weight is usually measured in kilograms but the weight of this small bag of sugar can be measured in grams exactly now let's measure this sugar you bought with the help of our weighing machine look jc this is a weighing scale these digits marked on its dial indicate different values of weight this pointer here points to the correct weight when you place something on the pan Cool. Let's find out how much this bag of sugar weighs. If Nathulal has given us the correct quantity, this bag should weigh 250 grams. All right. Here we go. So that's 200 grams, right? Yes, it is. This bag is missing 50 grams of sugar. Imagine the quantity of sugar he saves in total. If he does this with every customer, but he can't keep doing this. He is cheating people. Mom, let's go there tomorrow and teach him a lesson. Good morning, Nathula. Can we have these items, please? Are you having a party or something? This is the third time you have come to the shop within a week. Well, something like that. Anyway. Here's what I need. Mm. Let me get it for you. Hey Mitu, can you tell us what's going on here? These weights are hollow from the inside. Oh, I see. Thanks, Mitu. Jesse, you see those weights and the balance? This works like the weighing scale that we have at home. It does not look like our weighing machine. This is not a weighing machine, Jesse. But a weighing balance. Those hexagonal iron things are called weights. You can check how much each one weighs because their weight is written on them. Now, suppose you want to buy sugar worth 250 grams. We will place the weight of 250 grams on one side, and then pour sugar on the other side. Till the level of the pan is equal to the side with the weight of 250 grams on it. The pans balance out when the weight on both sides is equal. This is how you know that the sugar on the other side weighs 250 grams. Thanks, Mom. I get it now. But what did Mitu mean when he said? That these weights are hollow from inside. How would that help Nathulal cheat us? If the weights are hollow from inside, they weigh less than what they are supposed to. Oh, I get it. So if the weight is lighter than it's supposed to be, Nathulal will need to measure out a smaller quantity of sugar. Exactly. This is how he managed to fool us into buying 250 grams of sugar. When he had actually measured 200 grams. Natulal ji, the sugar I bought from you other day came to be 50 grams less when we weighed it at home. <laughs> That's impossible, Jeeji. Maybe the weighing machine at your house is faulty. I weigh everything right in front of your eyes. Um, maybe you are right. It must be faulty. Hey, how much does this bag of flour weigh, Natulal? It's uh, 
three hundred grams. Uh, bye. Okay. Place this soap weighing fifty grams on the other side of the balance. Now, also place this packet of tea weighing one hundred and fifty grams and this packet of sweets weighing hundred grams next to the soap. Now let's see how much all these items weigh. What are you doing, JC? You'll see. So fifty grams plus one hundred and fifty grams plus hundred grams is a uh, three hundred grams. The items on this side of the scale add up to three hundred grams. Tell us, Nathulal, if the weight on both sides of the balance is really three hundred grams, how come the weight on the left is outweighing the floor bag on the other side? Um. <laughs> Because <laughs> this bag of flour weighs less than three hundred grams, because you weighed it with those hollow weights of yours. Am I right? Let's go, JC. We won't shop here anymore. Bye bye. Today I realized the importance of mathematics in everyday life. Here's what I learned about mass, or what we commonly refer to as weight. The mass of an object. is a measure of how heavy or how light the object is the basic unit to measure mass is gram gram is usually used to measure lighter weights heavier weights are measured using kilogram 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 grams we can compare the mass of any two objects and judge how heavy or how light they are but remember this the mass of an object does not depend on its size a large object may be lighter than an object much smaller than it mass can be measured by using a weighing scale or a weighing balance